Betelgeuse is so large that if you placed it in our solar system, it would extend to Jupiter's orbit. It's easy to think of our sun as massive, but compared to some giant stars, it's quite small. The dramatic end of a star in the sky, Betelgeuse's explosion might be approaching. No explosion or fireworks can compare to the greatest explosion in nature, a supernova. Recent unusual vibrations have led to speculation that Betelgeuse is ready to explode and turn into a supernova. If this star explodes in its death throes, what would happen to life on Earth? We wonder how far away from a supernova we need to be to stay safe and our chances of survival. The last known supernova in the Milky Way galaxy occurred in 1604, but there may have been others since then, hidden by atmospheric gas and dust. The Crab Nebula, whose light reached Earth in 1054, is a remnant of past supernovas. The supernova observed in 1987 in the Large Magellanic Cloud, named SN 1987A, is one of the most remarkable supernovas since Kepler's supernova. Numerous supernova explosions have also been observed in other galaxies through telescopes, but they may not have been noticed by observers at the time. The last time we saw a bright and nearby supernova explosion in our galaxy was in Kepler's time. The fact that Betelgeuse, the closest red supergiant star to Earth, is preparing to explode is alarming. Betelgeuse has been known to humans for a long time, but in recent years, it has been recognized as a star approaching its end. The increasing visibility of its destruction indicates that the star's power is intensifying. According to scientists, Betelgeuse is expected to turn into a supernova because it is nearing the end of its life cycle. Like an old man struggling to breathe, expending almost all his energy, aging stars also produce energy through the fusion of hydrogen and helium at their cores. A star's energy output significantly increases with sufficient helium buildup, at which point it begins to expand. Transforming into a red giant or supergiant like Betelgeuse, it fights against relentless gravitational pressure. Star cores form heavier elements one by one. The production of elements heavier than iron consumes energy. So when cores start producing iron, the days of stars are numbered. Eventually, the star collapses due to its enormous weight, resulting in a catastrophic supernova explosion. Betelgeuse began dimming significantly at the end of 2019, causing excitement worldwide. Some people thought that the big event was approaching because of Betelgeuse's strange dimming. However, Betelgeuse, this prominent star in the Orion constellation, has not yet exploded since then. Its brightness decreased, increased again, and now seems to be returning to a less active state. Nevertheless, it is clear that more dimming could occur at any time. Astronomers have determined why it suddenly dimmed. After analyzing data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and several other observatories, it was discovered that Betelgeuse physically blew its top in 2019. It produced a massive surface mass ejection, an SAMO, and lost a significant portion of its visible surface. A star that had not been regularly observed before, our sun releases parts of its outer atmosphere in a phenomenon known as coronal mass ejection, CME. But Betelgeuse's SME expelled 400 billion times more mass than an average CME. Therefore, the hot gas cloud emitted by the star, temporarily covering some stars, caused Betelgeuse's strange dimming. This created a dust cloud from the four orange star panels, emitting and cooling incandescent gas. Betelgeuse may be only 640 light years away from Earth. Some estimates suggest that determining the distances to red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse although distant, is a challenging problem in astronomy. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the sky due to its intrinsic brightness and is about 100,000 times more luminous than the sun. Such brightness comes at a cost. Betelgeuse's immense energy rapidly consumes its fuel, shortening its lifespan. Eventually, the star will run out of fuel, collapse under its own weight, and then experience a spectacular supernova explosion. This event could cause Betelgeuse's brightness to increase to equal the brightness of the full moon, making it visible even during the day. What would happen if Betelgeuse finally explodes? What would we see and feel from Earth? Would a supernova destroy Earth? The three brightest supernovas recorded in history appeared in our sky in the years 1006, 1054, and 1572. Each of these stars was as bright as Venus at its peak and was thousands of light years away. Betelgeuse, however, is only 640 light years away. 
This means that if the star were to suddenly explode, it would become extremely bright. It might approach the brightness of the full moon and cast noticeable shadows even during the day. Upon Betelgeuse's explosion, there would be an emerging extremely hot core, surrounded by an expanding cloud of gaseous debris that we would see only as a faint, scattered light piece. This dazzling brightness would initially last for two or three months, gradually fading over the next two or three years. We would be lucky if there were no other effects as significant as the explosion's size. Betelgeuse was where it was in relation to us, and no closer than Capella. Capella is a very bright yellowish star, visible in the evening sky, located 43 light years away from us. If Betelgeuse were as close as Capella, it would become 50 times brighter than the moon, even though it is only 8,000 times less bright than the sun. The level of radiation Earth would be exposed to and the negative effects on the ozone layer would be significant, but the ozone layer would quickly return to normal. Are there any supernovas nearby that could harm us? Thankfully, there are no stars close enough to Earth that are powerful enough to go supernova within 50 light years every 50 years. However, there is a binary star system located 159 light years from Earth that could pose a threat to humanity. Type 1 supernovas occur in binary star systems. In these systems, matter is drawn from one star to the other, and the star, usually a white dwarf, eventually explodes, creating a spectacular supernova. Type II supernovas occur when a star runs out of fuel. The star's core will begin to expand and become heavier over time until it can no longer withstand the gravitational force. As the core collapses, a massive explosion occurs, and this supernova releases a large amount of radiation into space. These explosions can kill everything within 50 light years. To put this into perspective, our solar system is only about two light years wide. Therefore, even if a supernova were 30 light years away, the explosion would be 25 times farther than our solar system. In this case, humanity would face problems far more severe than a major epidemic. High energy neutrinos and powerful radiation bursts could kill any living being by burning them from the inside out. If a supernova were close enough, the entire Earth could be destroyed in less than a second. The force of the shockwave could completely obliterate our atmosphere and oceans. After the explosion, the star would remain bright for nearly three weeks and could cast shadows even during the day. UV and gamma radiation from the supernova's superheated gas would destroy the ozone layer, causing the formation of nitric oxide fumes. The most effective shield against radiation would be the Earth itself, which could be damaged by the initial dose of gamma rays. Almost all cosmic rays, X-rays, gamma rays, and ultraviolet rays are absorbed by the Earth. We would all have to go underground and accept our new lives as mole people. However, fatal tumors and mutations would increase. If everyone moved underground for a few years, most people could survive. But this option is only viable for a small number of people because there isn't enough space or infrastructure underground for billions of people. A nearby supernova would cause catastrophic radiation bursts for several weeks. The explosion would release ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma radiation. Although these rays do not always reach the Earth's surface, they can cause damage. The ozone layer would not be completely destroyed, but it could be significantly thinned in the stratosphere. This could result in the Earth being blanketed by dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun. If the ozone layer is damaged, phytoplankton in the oceans could be wiped out. Phytoplankton is responsible for more than 50% of the Earth's total photosynthetic production. It helps us breathe by removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Without it, global warming would increase further. Phytoplankton is a crucial component of the marine food chain, and its absence could lead to the extinction of many aquatic animals. This would ultimately pose a danger to humanity as well. Practically everything could be wiped out by countless if scenarios. But a few lucky extremophile species might survive. Radiation-resistant species that could withstand the spectacular nebula left behind by the supernova might at least enjoy the breathtaking view of the night sky. In the history of our planet, a mass extinction event occurred around 360 million years ago at the end of the Devonian period. This event has been the subject of scientific debate. Scientists indicate that rocks from that period were blasted by ultraviolet radiation, similar to sunburn. However, Supernovas are not just destructive, they also create most of the heavy elements, like the oxygen we breathe. 
The calcium in our bones and the iron in our blood were formed through nuclear reactions that occurred in the depths of exploding stars. According to astronomers and physicists, the region known as the local bubble, resulting from the shock waves they created and spreading into space, indicates that the area where Earth is located is quite a safe zone in space. This bubble, a gas region in the Milky Way galaxy, is a product of supernova explosions that occurred 20 million years ago. These explosions helped form our solar system by bringing gas, dust, and heavy elements like uranium and gold to Earth. Without supernovas, we wouldn't have our powerful nuclear reactors or shiny gold jewelry. While we're still here, we can continue to explore the mysteries of the universe. Be sure to click on the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.